Assalamu alaikum. How are you guys? My name is Asim Habas from Al Mahdi High School, Sur. In this video, I'm going to introduce the argumentative essay with its minimal four parts structure that such kinds of essays should have. An argumentative essay is an essay in which you introduce a debatable or controversial topic and take a stand on this issue. Your main goal should be defending your position using evidence from a personal experience, research, historical example, statistic, etc., in order to prove that your position is more valid and more logical than the opposing one. By minimal four-part structure, we mean that any good argumentative essay should have introduction that introduces the argument, two body paragraphs that reflect your position, a refutation paragraph where you present the counterpoint before you refute it, and the conclusion. These four parts are highly important because if any is missing, we can't call it a complete argumentative essay anymore. Accordingly, like any other essay, it follows the IBC division, which means introduction, body, and the conclusion. Let's start with the introduction. Like any other ordinary introductions, it has its own components or elements. I will define the first three elements and talk about them while studying a sample introduction in the coming slide. Any introduction should start with a catchy hook, which could be a question or series of questions, an anecdote, quote, statistics, or an interesting fact. This opening statement should indirectly introduce the topic. As you know, the function of the hook is to catch the reader's attention. After getting the reader's attention, you should reveal the topic by giving general information on it in one or two sentences through the general statement or statements. Then comes the sense of argument for the first time, where you have to introduce the topic as an argumentative one in the lead-in sentence. As you can see in this introduction, the writer uses a catchy question in the hook that grabs the reader's attention by saying, how does it feel to wear the same outfit every day? Then he used a general statement to introduce the topic. He said, this is what most students have to do by wearing school uniforms. This policy is accepted by the majority of students and parents as well. So the topic, which is wearing school uniforms, is introduced. This topic appears to be a debatable one when reaching the lead-in sentence. However, this issue has become a juicy topic, igniting strong debates among those who are with and the few who are against. So, then comes the thesis statement. The thesis statement that, as usual, includes the topic and the three controlling ideas. The first one of the three controlling ideas actually introduces the counter-argument or opposing view that will be refuted in the final body paragraph, while the remaining two reflect your claim without using any first person pronouns or expressions like I think or I believe. Why? Simply because you have to be behind the stage. Here is the formula you use to write the thesis. You started with a transition that shows contrast. Before you mention the opposing opinion and the reason behind it, then you give your stand with the two reasons that you're going to elaborate on in the first and the second body paragraphs. Let's take a look at the following thesis. As you can see, after the hook, the general statement, and the lead-in sentence, it's time to write your thesis. Although wearing a school uniform is not desirable by some students, since it restricts their individuality, here is the counterpoint and the reason behind it. Then you move to your stand and the two reasons you have in mind. 
it should be a priority as it raises sense of belonging and prevents bullying. So, the thesis statement of the argumentative essay includes the dependent clause, which starts with a transitional word as, although, despite, however, in order to show the contrast of the different points of view between the writer and his or her opponents, while the independent clause holds the writer's claim or opinion. Yes, the introduction is important. Yes, the conclusion is important. But the body section is the most important. The body paragraphs are kind of the heart of your essay. They carry the message you have to your audience. The second and the third controlling ideas that introduce your claim will be developed in the first two body paragraphs. And the counter arguments or the opposing point will be presented in the final body paragraph where it is going to be refuted. Now, the topic and the main idea of your essay are ready. So, it's time to focus on the body of the essay that is going to develop your argument. The topic sentence may start with the transition signals that you may use, such as first, second, third, to begin with, additionally, or finally. Initially, subsequently, or finally. I hope you remember capitalizing these signals and using a comma after each one. All body paragraphs should have a clear topic sentence that contains the main idea. Have various types of supporting details to explain this main idea. And have connectors to create coherence. When arguing with someone means you have to expect objection. A good argumentative essay shows that the writer is aware of the opposing arguments and ready to refute it. A refutation paragraph is a paragraph that presents the opposite point of view and its refutation. It includes the counter argument and the refutation. So, how do we write a refutation paragraph? First, start it with a sentence that displays the opposing argument using terms like critics, opponents, or even supporters of this issue argue that wearing a uniform restricts individuality. Don't forget to support this topic sentence which includes the opposing arguments with one or two supporting details. They believe that this practice deprives students from expressing their own style and personal taste in fashion. Then it is time to refute this counter argument. Note that it is highly important to start the refutation with a contrast signal such as, even though, however, on the other hand, and so on. Even though this claim has some merit to it, one should keep in mind that this school is not a place for presenting fashion shows. Since raising an objection isn't going to help your case, you need to come up with convincing reasons to show that this objection is not valid or not worthy. So you should include a part where you defend your arguments by refuting the objection raised. The school is where students should learn and a knowledge that prepares them to face the future. In addition, students' life is not restricted to school. They have plenty of time outside school in the afternoons and on vacations to express their individuality any way they wish. So, the refutation paragraphs included two parts, the counter-argument and the refutation. Dear students, when writing any argumentative essay, don't forget to write a five-paragraph essay. 
read the questions and circle the clues. Always plan your essay, opinion, and topic sentences. In this video, we have looked at the argumentative essay in general and focused at the thesis, the body paragraphs, and the refutation paragraph. For more advice and answers to any question, don't hesitate to contact your class teacher.